These are the headlines for today evening. Bitcoin surges above $17,000, Ether stays below $1,300. SEC charges Sam Bankman fried for allegedly defrauding FTX equity investors. FTX's Bahamas liquidators seek to exclude over $200 million worth of luxury properties from liquidation. Justin Sun looks to calm crypto market fear as BNB falls 5%, withdrawals continue on Binance. Financial Stability Board to hold crypto providers to same standards as banks. Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Cryptocurrency markets were trading flat to positive on Tuesday as investors look ahead to the release of November's Consumer Price Index report scheduled to be announced later in the day, hoping for signs to ease inflation. Now let's see how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading up by 2% at 25,772 points. Meanwhile, in recent news, Sam Bankman Fried, founder and former CEO of the bankrupt crypto exchange FTX, has been arrested by the Bahamas police at the request of the US government as he was willing to testify as a witness before the US. House of Representatives Committee on Financial Services as the committee started investigating the events that led up to FTX's implosion. The latest developments in the crypto market and upcoming macroeconomic data will likely influence investors' sentiments, analysts believe. The inflation report could play a key role in the Federal Reserve's next rate-hiking decision expected at the conclusion of its two-day policy meeting on Wednesday. Traders are largely pricing and a 50 basis point increase, a slight decline from the previous four hikes of 75 basis points. Stock futures were trading flat as Wall Street braced for November's key inflation report and the beginning of the Federal Reserve December policy meeting. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average inched 0.01% lower, while futures connected to the S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 traded flat, declining 0.08% and 0.14% respectively. Bitcoin was trading at $17,405, up 2.5%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 2.2%, trading at $1,283. Polygon Matic was trading up by 1.2% to trade at $0.90. According to on-chain analytics provider Into the Block, Polygon transaction volume is ticking up with total transaction volume crossing $260 million on December 12. Furthermore, this is an increase of 900% from the $26 million recorded on the previous day. The volume spike has surpassed the 7-day average of $170 million per day. Solana Soul was up 0.1% and was trading at $13. Next on the list, Cardano's ADA token was up by 0.2% to trade at $0.30. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading up by 0.8% at $0.089. Next on the list, Shiba Inu was trading up by 0.2%. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $12.9, higher 0.5%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.37, down by 2.6%. However, BNB was down 6% to trade at $267. According to a Reuters report, quoting undisclosed sources said, some US prosecutors are supposedly looking to press charges against the exchange and its CEO. CZ revealed that there's been an influx of USDC withdrawal requests and they are not being processed immediately because they have to go through a New York bank that won't open until a few hours later. He also reassured that users are free to withdraw 
any other stable coin such as USDT or BUSD. Last on the list, Polkadot was down by 2.6% to trade at $5. And now back to the headlines. The Securities and Exchange Commission has just charged the founder and former CEO of crypto exchange FTX, Sam Bankman fried with defrauding investors. The SEC alleged that Bankman fried orchestrated a years-long fraud when presenting his exchange's sophisticated automated risk measure to protect customer assets. The complaint alleges that the FTX founder failed to disclose how the firm commingled funds with its sister trading firm Alameda Research, the special treatment afforded to Alameda, as well as using client funds for venture investments, political donations and lavish real estate purchases. Macman Fried was arrested yesterday in the Bahamas following a formal request from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. The Bahamas liquidators are seeking to exclude over $200 million worth of luxury properties in the country from the estate of FTX as the bankrupt crypto exchange seeks to wind up and repay creditors in the U.S. court documents filed on Monday revealed. Meanwhile, lawyers for FTX's new boss, John J. Ray 3, are attempting to fight off attempts by what they say are reckless attempts by Bahamas-based administrators to secure access to the defunct crypto exchanges' IT systems in legal proceedings that have rapidly become as messy as the crypto exchanges' own governance. Unsuccessful attempts by former FTX Chief Sam Bankman fried to get back his password for company systems, apparently at the urging of Bahamas Joint Provisional Liquidators, highlight the recklessness with which the JPLs and the Bahamian authorities are approaching the security of the debtors' assets and systems a filing on behalf of FTX's new US management said. The last time these individuals had access to the debtor system, they used such access to transfer assets belonging to the debtors, the filing added. Meanwhile, in a separate court filing, Bahamian liquidators say the holding company of a series of 35 luxury Bahamas villas, the most expensive of which costs $30 million, was unlawfully transferred into U.S. hands as lawyers squabble over which country has jurisdiction. A general sense of unease about the health of Binance continued through the market during the Asian trading hours on Tuesday. Part of the market's anxiety over Binance likely came from reports that Tron's trust in Sun withdrew a combined $50 million from Binance. Sun, however, looked to calm market fears by tweeting a link to Etherscan showing that he had deposited $100 million USDC back into the exchange. On-train data shows withdrawals across all trains hit the $1.8 billion mark during the last 24 hours. Data from Nansen shows that Pexos and Uboy were the recipients of some of this inflow, with around $162 million of net flow between the two exchanges. Binance's exchange token, BND, often seen as a barometer of the fortune of the exchange, is down 5.3% on day to $268. Data from DeFi Llama shows that the total value logged in Binance services chain DeFi protocols is down 4.5% during the past 24 hours. Binance tweeted in the late afternoon Hong Kong time that it was temporarily suspending USDC withdrawals as it engages in a token swap to between USDC and BUSD. And now let's go to Ruchi Sharma to get an update on the three buzzing stocks of the day. As per the official tweet from Binance Coin, it did better than Ethereum in terms of total value locked. BNB states that its TVL rose this quarter by 8.22% compared to Ethereum's 0.45% increase. Although BNB's TLV travelled north but the coin's price action fell short of expectations. Data from on-chain intelligence platform Sentiment also favoured BNB and inclined towards investors' interest. BNB's market value to realized value ratio was considerably lower, possibly indicating a market bottom. 
BNB was trading at $267.22, down 5.37% in the past 24 hours, with a market capitalization of $42 billion. In order to give Aptos network users access to the Pancake Bridge and the Cake Token, PancakeSwap has announced a new collaboration with Layer Zero Labs. The Cake Token has gone multi-chain using the Layer Zero Labs OFT standard. Through the Pancake Bridge, the Cake Token is currently accessible on Aptos and a number of other EVM blockchains. With the new bridge over to Aptos, PancakeSwap has introduced new trading pairings accessible across the networks. For Cake APT, Cake USDC and Cake USDC users can exchange one is to one. Pancake Swap was trading at $3.71, down 5.43% in the past 24 hours, with a market capitalization of $5 million. The goal of Chainlink's new staking program, where users can earn cryptocurrency rewards for assisting with network security, was to be widely adopted to encourage more inclusivity and decrease the possibility of a few users dominating the pool in the early stages. The price feed provider set a cap of 7,000 link tokens per wallet, according to the project team. But according to blockchain statistics, one huge holder or whale was able to circumvent the restrictions by creating more than 150 addresses and then staking the full 7000 link allowance from each of them. The whale dubbed Old White on the OpenSea platform was able to stake approximately 1.06 million link thanks to the meticulous effort. According to Chainlink authorities, more than 3,300 individual community stakers staked a median amount of around 2,100 link, demonstrating their achievement in attracting widespread involvement in the new initiative. In total, around 7,800 addresses staked link tokens in some quantity. Link was trading at 6.55 dollars down 0.20 percent in the past 24 hours with a market capitalization of three billion dollars thank you ruti well that's all in today's special bulletin this is me vishaka thakur signing off for more such updates please like share and subscribe to 3.0 tv